What is going on guys? Welcome to a new up new upload of Star Wars Old Republic. This video is going out directly to Bioware, uh, Community, Eric Musco, basically everyone who works at Bioware for the Star Wars Old Republic. If you would please look back on May 4th, 2015, you guys have added the Epic Story Experience boost, which was 12 times experience. Now, 12 times experience uh, allowed players to just focus on their story missions itself and get to level 55 faster. A lot of people really enjoy that, including me. Don't get me wrong about that. I absolutely loved it. But for the people who didn't like it, what did you guys do at Bioware? You added a new vendor that people could go to to disable the Epic Story Experience boost. Now, the cost for that um, certain item was a standing subscription. As long as you had a subscription going, you could disable it, right? This applies exactly to the same as level sync. I know a lot of people here are going to start complaining about, you know, how bad level sync is. I cannot take any more of this. I am, I'm not even sorry. I can't take any more of this. You guys at Bioware have ruined a lot of fun for a lot of people by introducing level sync. A ton of people hate it. I would say about 90% of the game hates it. And about, I would say 40% of this game has already canceled their subscription because of that and because of the huge companion nerf. But mostly because of level sync. And I'm pretty much on the edge of my seat by actually doing that. I'm not going to cancel any subscription. I'm still going to support this game as long as it goes because it is fun just being level 65. But level sync is killing this game Bioware. You don't see it. You're too blind and too fucking <laughs> obnoxious to even know. So let me let me let me let me just say something. Level sync. I understand why you invented it into the game. Because for example, if you are 65 and you land on Droman Cost and someone wants your help. Bioware wants you to help them, but not take away the current other player's experience, if they're, say, like, level 10 or so. I understand that fully, and you can still keep that. I don't care. I don't give a shit. But this is literally, for the people who hate this level sync, why the hell not can't you just add a fucking vendor to the supply section of both the Imperial and the Republic fleets? I have made up my own design... Not really the design, per se, It's an, I know what it would look like, but I've made up my own idea for this vendor. It would be a brand new vendor, it would be a gold protocol unit, exactly like C-3PO, but it would just be a basic gold proto protocol unit. This vendor would be added into the supply section of both the Republic and the Imperial fleets, and it would only have just one ability, it would just have one item to be able to disable level sync. Now, the cost for it would be the exact same as May the 4th, where it, as long as you have a current standing subscription, you could be, be able to disable it. No problem. So why the fuck not? I mean, it, how hard is it to even do that? To be honest, it was your fault in the first place for even putting this up and not even and not even giving us a chance to to spare out our opinions on this. So why the fuck can't you do that? Let me guess. Your your direct response would be, "Oh no, we can't. We can't do that. There, that's impossible to do." No, it's not. Stop your fucking bullshit lying. Okay, I know the truth about Bioware. You guys are able to do anything. Just look behind me, shit. You're able to create such personnel beast. You're able to create this entire Droman Cost planet, this entire Droman Cost stronghold, uh, the planets, etc. You're able to 
do so much, but you can't just add one single vendor to add level to add uh, disable level sync. I find that utterly bullshit. I really do. I'm not gonna stand here and listen to the lies that you have to say that are all false, okay? This is my idea. Add this vendor to the supply fleet and make everyone happy. I know truly that you guys at Bioware can do this. I mean, shit, look, you're not even reading our feedback on level sync. You know, I've called over the phone at Bioware and asked them about all this, about like anything that is technically just, um, that is basically any issue really for the entire game. And they've always told me that these developers or whatnot, they are always looking at the forums. I just really doubt that, honestly. I really do doubt that. Okay, I know how busy Bioware is. I know how busy all these developers are. <clears throat> but literally, just take a few minutes and actually consider this entire idea. I mean, shit, it would not be that hard to add just one single vendor to be able to disable level sync. That would honestly make so much more people happy and you would be able to keep all the current players who are about to even cancel because honestly by where I'm at the edge of my seat where I just get I just want to give up but I don't want to at the same time because this is the only thing I have because truthfully I know I'm sounding de desperate but shit I speak out for a lot of other people who are agree at the same thing that we want level sync gone we want just something to bring back the fun in Star Wars Old Republic. This level sync is the only thing that is killing this game, that is killing our fun. It's just not worth it. You know, every day I log into this game and I'm trying to think, what am I going to do? Because there's, ne there's hardly ever anything to do in this game anymore. You got heroics that are now level synced. You got world bosses that are extremely hard as fuck to kill. And you actually need an entire group of, say, like, 20 fucking people to even do this. You know? It's just so much bullshit. I understand you're trying to make this game more challenging for everyone else. I understand that, and I appreciate that a lot. But for the people who are level 65 already and just want to relax and just have fun, you know, it would be so much more easier... I don't know what else to do, honestly, Bioware. Because this is the only idea that I have is to add this new vendor. And believe it or not, I'm not going to stop with this idea until I get this idea in-game permanently. I don't care how long it takes. But I, I'm getting this idea. I'm going to make it fully happen one way or another. Even if I have to go up directly to Bioware and even just do a fucking interview, I don't care. I have to make this idea into the game, or at least try. And to people who are watching this, I really do hope you guys support me on this. As much as I, as much as I can do this, you know, it's just going to be extremely difficult. But I'm not giving up until just one, just something happens. By where you took away the fun in this game, for the first time, actually. I just can't, I'm not going to stand by and let you guys lie to us. I just can't stand by to watch it. <clears throat>